We are less than a week away, potentially, from the third launch of Starship. We know that a lot of exciting things might happen, including finally reaching orbit. Now, I wanted to take a look back at the first launch and the second launch, relive some of the reactions that I was able to gather after the launches, interviewing people on the same day. The, these were such exciting launches, and we still haven't had a launch in 2024, so I know we're excited for IFT3, but let's take a, a trip back in time. Of course, the first launch was on 420, very memorable date, April 20th, 2023. Attention all operators on countdown one. We're going to start our go, no go poll for today's flight. Raptor one, go. Raptor two, go. Stage one, go. Good morning. On your screen is Starship as it awaits our first ever integrated flight test from Starbase, Texas. Flight directors go for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six. Ignition. Two. And uh, we'll get it to orbit and we'll, we'll make it reusable. And th that means that, that we have a, a real path here to get humanity to Mars. It's like uh, called Xinjian. Starship is uh, in Chinese language, it's Xinjian. Speaking of people from around the world, meet Angela. She actually waited until SpaceX got the license from the FAA and then booked her travel all the way from Shanghai to Brownsville. Actually, I fly from Shanghai to Hong Kong and then LA. LA Dallas are here, finally. Wow. It's a long, long trip. Oh, I'm really excited to see the Starship and the Super Heavy. Yeah, and uh, I think it's not long for human beings to Mars. Really different from the like the videos online. When I'm here to see it, it's really significant. I don't think there's a word that can describe it, but holy crap. And yeah, you say people are putting on a brave face. You have it completely wrong, Todd. This was an enormously successful test flight. I, I used to be a, a test pilot in the Royal Canadian Air Force and the US Navy and the US Air Force. This was a terrific day. We learned an enormous amount and it really bodes well for the future. Made a note on the gas. Whoa. And let's talk about the second launch, which was on November 18th. 2023, about seven months later, this third launch could be about three months after the second launch. So that window of time is starting to shorten in between launches. Attention all operators on countdown one. This is the final go, no go for flight two of Starship. Again, our two zeros at 7 a.m. Central. Raptor one. Go. Raptor two. Go. Stage one. Go. Stage two. Go. Copy, go for flight. Clock is rolling. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
It was absolutely incredible. My voice is gone from screaming. I was down at the beach with the SpaceX Starship team and like their energy was incredible. Their pride was like just like palpable and like the whole time just cheers and excitement and um, I have like a, I have like, I don't know, goosebumps still just talking about it. Uh, it was so worth coming here. And I heard that, you know, you've been to space, but you said this was the most beautiful thing you've seen in your life. Oh, it, yep, except for my launch, of course. Right. But yes, yes, when it comes to um, actually watching, you know, a rocket take off, this was by far the most beautiful launch I've ever seen. Wow, that's yeah. saying a lot. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen a lot of launches. Were you able to see number one? Yes, I was here when they, uh, the first one. So what a different launch we had today. <laughs> it was, it was uh, fantastic to just to watch it go all the way up and uh, get to stage separation and yes. uh, carry on. Oh, it's going! That's unbelievable! And what did you think? Well, I'm, I'm a thrill seeker. This, that was shit. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I was really so lucky. so different from the first launch. It was louder, man. It was more powerful and uh, just it was it was intense. Overall, I would just say I'm just thrilled to have been here. It was awesome. The sound, the visuals, the crowds, just everybody, you know, having a great time and being so excited. So um, yeah, I can't wait to come back for the next one. Yes. We have movement. I hope that you enjoyed taking this trip back in time. I will do my best to get as many interviews and great content uh, that I can while I'm down there in Boca Chica. If you want to support my channel, please sign up for my Patreon. And don't forget to tune into Ellie in Space on the day of the launch because I will definitely be bringing you launch coverage.